Hello everybody, my name is Anixium, also known as Jarl and Thoriel, and welcome back to another exciting video where we are going to talk about Elder Scrolls Online. Now I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are thinking to yourselves, Nixium, I played that game when it came out, and it sucked. And you know what? Yeah, you're right. It fucking sucked. Elder Scrolls Online had an absolutely terrible launch, and hey, we all know that. But since then, ZeniMax Entertainment has put a lot of time and effort into patching the game, fixing issues, adding more content, and so... I decided to give it another chance, and I've been playing it over the past few weeks, so I wanted to do a video where I would share my thoughts on what I like about the game and what I dislike about the game, and maybe offer you guys a potential new MMO to explore if you're in the market to explore another MMO. So let's jump straight into the positives about the game, shall we? The first thing we need to talk about in this game is the character customization. Now I'm not talking about, you know, adjusting the nose and the mouth and all that crap. That stuff's fine, but I'm talking about being able to create any kind of character that you want in this game. Elder Scrolls Online is more of a true RPG in the sense that you can really make any kind of character that you want. Do you want to be a badass wizard who uses staffs and wears heavy armor? You can do it. Do you want to be a rogue that heals people while wearing light armor and like a robe or something? You can do it. The game really lets you be anything, even some weird combinations that you wouldn't expect. And that's really cool. I mean, hell, if you want, just be a crafter. Just a pure 100% crafter in the game. Do it. Whatever you want. And I like that. Having that freedom in an MMO, I think, makes the MMO a lot more colorful and rich, and it makes the replayability a lot, uh, a lot better. At least I think so, anyway. The second thing you're probably going to notice as you play the game is first-person mode. Now, first-person mode in this game is really cool, but... It's not something you're going to be using all the time. I mean, if you're PvPing or doing a dungeon or something, you're probably not going to do it in first-person mode unless you've got a really big dick, okay? W which I don't, so I don't do that shit, man. Like, <laughs> but if you want some really cool role-play-ish gameplay, if you really want to get into the world, going into first-person mode can be an absolute treasure. So it's something unique to the game, and I think it's cool, and I wanted to put it on the list. The third thing I want to talk about is the lore of the game. This is the Elder Scrolls that we're talking about, and anybody that has studied Elder Scrolls lore even a little bit knows just how rich the Elder Scrolls lore is. The universe is teeming with information, information about various characters and gods and events, some of which contradict each other, and you gotta, you gotta sit there and think, man, what, what is the truth behind this world? How do I interpret all these events and these characters and these actions? And it just is a very rich and compelling world that sucks you in. And even for someone like me that's not a massive fan of the Elder Scrolls lore, I found myself reading a lot of books in this game and paying attention to the quest lines and just, I just really got into it. So the lore and how expansive it is in SO, that's, that's a plus for me. While playing the game, I have also found that exploration is heavily rewarded. You will be walking through the world and you will find quests as you travel. You'll find sky shards, which are used to unlock more points that you can spend to customize your character. You'll find treasure chests and a whole lot more locations, world bosses, and just a lot of stuff. And that's a real pleasure when it comes to an MMO, especially for someone like me, because I like to explore. I like to go off the beaten path and find my own way. So having an MMO that doesn't hold your hand and you can just go out into the world and see what you can find, I like that. The crafting in the game is very interesting as well. Now, if you've watched any of my other MMO videos, you know that I'm a big fan of crafting. Nixium is a big fan of crafting, yes I am. The crafting in this game has a bit of a learning curve to it because you can do things like research new like 
traits and you can also upgrade your items and it requires these potions and the point is there's a bit of a learning curve but the crafting in the game is interesting and it has an actual progression feeling especially as you put more points into crafting because then you'll be able to see nodes lit up in the world you will have a worker that will work for you and they'll deliver stuff to your mail every day delivering like crafting materials and stuff and there's just a lot of really cool things to unlock as a crafter and you can even make furniture for your house as a crafter and uh yeah speaking of houses player housing the player housing in the world has a lot of depth to it. I love going into a dungeon, killing the final boss, and then mounting their head atop my fireplace. That is awesome. A lot of the stuff that you're going to fill your house with is going to be things that you find out in the world, or they're going to be things that you craft at a crafting bench. There's also a lot of cool stuff you can get off the Crown Store too, which is the Elder Scrolls Online's version of, that's their like, cosmetic shop thing but if you're not a big fan of player housing you're probably not going to be interested in that there's just a lot of recipes to find all throughout the world and there's lots of different ways to decorate your homes and there's tons of different homes to choose from with many different themes located all across the world and it just uh the game just has a nice variety when it comes to its player housing the world is also very interactable, and what I mean by that is you can pick up objects, you can search in barrels, you can sneak into people's homes and steal things, you can pickpocket NPCs, you can kill NPCs if you want, and that leads to some really interesting gameplay that makes Elder Scrolls Online feel very different from other MMOs that I've played. For example, you can play as an upstanding warrior who does no wrong, and you go around and you smash bad guys' heads in with your axe, or you can play the game completely different. You can be a backstabbing rogue who sneaks into people's homes, steals their stuff, assassinates them while they sleep, and then have a bounty on your head where you have to sneak around through your towns and you have to dodge guards. And then you have these underground thieves guild-esque bases beneath cities where you can sell your stolen goods and you can also get bounties cleared off your head so that guards will not kill you on sight. And it just, it really makes you feel like a rogue. It makes you feel like an assassin and a thief if you go down that style of gameplay. And that's really cool. There's a lot of replayability because of how interactable the world is. And I love that. In regards to PvE, something that I've been doing a lot of is I've been tanking as Jarl and Thoriel. And tanking for me in this game has been a lot of fun. The tanking for me has been really cool because of the fact that it's not this auto AoE taunting nonsense that you see from other MMOs. It's a lot of single target focus and it's just a lot of running around and it requires a lot of paying attention and I like that. As a tank, I'm also buffing my allies all the time, making sure that they're protected with shields and whatnot. And uh, the, the tank really, the tank experience really makes you feel tough. It makes you feel like a tank, like you're running around and you're actually a part of a battle. And I enjoy that. Now, I know not all of you care about PvE. You don't give two shits about PvE. It's all about the PvP, man. And the PvP in this game is absolutely fucking incredible. Going to Cyrodiil and doing sieges, fighting with your friends, like timing abilities off of each other so that you can blow people up. It's so cool. Defending keeps and attacking them. I love it. And I've even crowned an emperor in this game over on my stream on Twitch. Yeah, we got together and we captured all the keeps around the Imperial City and we crowned an emperor. The point is the PVP is interesting. It's fun. However, there's still a lot that could be said about PVP and I'm gonna talk about that later. Now, the final thing that I wanna talk about is the combat point system or the champion level system. And what this is is, well, here's how it works. When you hit level 50, which is the level cap in this game, you continue to level, but you level by getting champion points. You progress in power, essentially. You can then take these points and you can spend them in these various trees where you can increase the healing that you receive or how much damage you do with your attacks. And essentially, you just make your character more and more powerful the more points that you get. Now the cool thing about this champion point system and the reason why I like it is you get these points by doing anything. You can get them through crafting, you can get them through doing dungeons, you can get them through PvPing, or my favorite is you can get them by leveling alts. 
You see, once you unlock these points, this champion level system, it also unlocks on all your alts as well. It's sort of your reward for hitting level 50. And now all of your alts, you can put these points in where you can make your alts even more powerful so that your alts can smash through the levels even faster while at the same time gaining more points for the CP system through doing quests and battlegrounds and yada yada yada, which also applied to your main. That might sound a little confusing, but here's a chart. Look at it. That's how it works, kinda. All right, let's get back to the review. But anyway, those are 10 positives that I have chosen from Elder Scrolls Online. I could have chosen a lot more, but I'm just kind of keeping things short and simple for the sake of the video. I don't want to go into too much detail, otherwise we're going to be here all day. But we can't just talk about the positives of the game. We have to talk about some of the negatives as well. Some things that I've noticed about the game that I don't necessarily hate, but they're definitely worth mentioning as cons. So let's start with that. Number one, the first thing that stood out to me as a con in this game was, well, it's really cool how you have this super in-depth ability to customize your character in any way that you want, but sometimes what happens is certain classes can create these builds that are incredibly powerful incredibly powerful to the point that it takes like 20 plus players just to kill one guy because their build is so OP. And before you say, nah, Nixium, there's no way, dude, like, I, no, I'm telling you, like, I fucking streamed it. Like, some of these guys are absolutely unkillable. Like, it takes an entire army to kill them. It's insane. It's insane. They're just like massive, like, buff people. And it, it's crazy, and when a bunch of like people run around in a group together constantly buffing each other, sometimes you can't fucking kill anybody, and yeah, some, some people are just a little stupid OP, and that, that stands out to me on the PvP front, but still fucking awesome, I still love the PvP. The second thing to talk about in regards to PvP is this isn't really like a con, it's just more of a criticism. It's just the fact that I really want to see more come out of the PvP system in Elder Scrolls Online. Right now in Cyrodiil, you have the whole, you know, sieging keeps and burning down fortresses and so on and so forth. And that's really cool. But something that I want to see going forward is more bases, more ways to siege castles and stuff. I want to be able to like scale the walls with ladders. I know that in the next expansion, they're going to create things where you can get these legendary weapons to destroy walls in one hit. And I just want to see more things added to the Cyrodiil PVP scene because I, I think there's a lot of potential there that is yet to be tapped. And I want to make a video talking about that more in depth. And the final thing that I'd like to say is a con, and it's not really a con. It could be a pro depending on who you are, but the end game is very grindy because once you hit level 50, it's just a grind to get those champion points. And although I think the champion point system is interesting and cool and I genuinely like it, for some people it might come off as being very grindy because you get these points by doing quests and PvE and PvP and uh, maybe you just want to be max level and have all your points and that be it. You don't want to grind 700 champion points, you know what I mean? So that could be a con to some people, but if you're someone that's into exploring the world and continuing to progress your character, I don't think you're going to see that as a con at all. Overall though, I have had a ton of fun with The Elder Scrolls Online. I've been playing this game every single day almost, playing as my Dragon Knight, playing as my Sorcerer, and just having an absolutely freaking epic time playing with you guys on Twitch. I hit level 50 on my Dragon Knight. I'm currently grinding out the champion points. I'm doing the veteran dungeons. I'm excited to do trials. And although I'm still relatively new to the game, I think I've gotten a nice good taste of it. And I felt like it was time to make a video like this where I would share my thoughts. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this look into the Elder Scrolls Online and into my mind. Now, would I recommend playing Elder Scrolls Online and giving it a chance? Yes. Definitely. If you're someone like me that played the game back when it first came out and you didn't like it, dude, like right here, man, I was I was there too, man. I'm, I, I get it. 
but I played it again and I gave it another chance and honestly I'm having a blast and I think you'll have a blast too. So guys, I hope you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on the Elder Scrolls Online. If you'd like to see more Elder Scrolls Online content from me, leave a comment down below in the comment section because I'd love to, I'd like to talk a little bit more about the PVP and the PVE and some of the systems and more depth down the road and share my full thoughts on them. But you know, in this video, you gotta, you gotta kinda, you gotta keep things like short and simple. Otherwise, this is gonna be a long ass video. But uh, just leave a comment down below and maybe say like, oh, Nixium, maybe you should talk more about the PVP or I don't know. Feel free to leave a suggestion. But either way, guys, thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. I will see you all soon with my next project. And uh, I guess I'll see you in, uh, in Cyrodiil.